Touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point right down the middle. And that pushes the lead up to 23. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was polished off by a Washington touchdown. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth, didn't get it. How does that translate here? I would imagine momentum's with the defense. Definitely with the defense because anytime anyone goes for it on fourth down, that's telling you as a defense that they, you can't stop us. We don't think that you can. And when you actually do, that may put a little dent in the confidence of the offense the next time they hit the field. Yeah, we'll see if they can bring that pride to the offense this go around. Second and four. He's got his man sharp. Oh, now he's stripped. He lost the football. Pressure right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. He's looking for another four sack game. That's how many he had last week. That's his third. And when I watch him rush the passer, the thing that always comes to mind for me is how well he uses his hands. The martial arts stuff that a lot of guys do in the offseason to work on those, paying dividends for him. He's getting home in a big way. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. And the Commanders are going to take possession of the football. Well, I guess an interception at this point on fourth down is just as bad as an incomplete pass. Either way, the ball goes over to the other side. Yeah, it's a tough spot to be in this late in the game, and there's not a whole lot he could do there. And he winds up giving the ball away. Well, here we go on the next drive for Washington. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Up the middle they go. Jennings. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Jennings, and he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I'd sure love to offer some advice to the defensive coordinator, but his guys are just getting run over by an offense that's executing like a well-oiled machine. Throwing on first down. Rich. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. To throw again. Rich. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. third down rich and this time he's got the hookup it's complete and he takes it down to the 10-yard line they're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal well normally you might say start running the football you've got the lead here in the fourth quarter but the way that they've passed it with such success I don't know maybe keep throwing it yeah I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom right in this stage of the game you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, 
I think he continued to do so. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full play, but he'll be hit and taken down at the 21. This will cost him 11 yards there on the second and goal sack. So two sacks for the rookie, definitely making an impact here in year one. And in a ton of different ways because rushing the passer, that was supposed to be a skill that he was developing. Looks to me like he's figured it out already. The offense on third down, they've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. They're looking at a third and goal here. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. So on fourth down, Ron Rivera sends out the field goal unit. This from 32 yards away. And his kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So unable to convert for the touchdown inside the red zone, but they do come away with three. Yeah, it's a 32-yarder. That's essentially an extra point nowadays, right? Because it's 33 is a general rule for these guys. So it should be a simple kick. But you know what's really strange nowadays? When they miss an extra point, I think they carry that with them longer than missing a field goal because an extra point's supposed to be automatic. Absolutely, and I would think even field goals inside of 30 yards, even though they're substantially shorter than a PAT, it, would, it just has a different feel, doesn't it? Has a different it? feel, a different vibe. That's what I get from all the kickers I talk to. They always say, if I miss an extra point, that's the one that bothers me more. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now they'll run on the draw. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. First down, Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. Well, depending on the temperament of the head coach, he's either turning to the bench and screaming, where was that all game? Or maybe just kind of keeping it to himself and saying, okay, it's something to build on, and a positive comes out of a bad game because those are going to happen from time to time. We'll see how he gets his team ready to go in the future. But that run right there, that's what they were looking for. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. And he will bring this one back. It is a pick six for a Washington touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead. And it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances. And that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. Point after, right down the middle. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Now the Buccaneers offensive unit back out on the field. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because 
They're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they use uses motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A throw over the middle, taken in. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Being chased out, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. Talk about two sides of the ball across purposes because mercifully this game's almost over for the offense, but the defense, they still want to get a few shots in. The front seven, they've loved this ball game. They've been able to pad their stats, and maybe some backups can get in and get a sack as well. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. And this will be incomplete. Boy, can you believe this? That one probably should have been picked, too. Instead, it's fourth down. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. They start the drive with Jennings. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. They'll keep it on the ground. Jennings. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. And even 100 yards rushing for him now as he's toted it 21 times. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. So for Washington, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they'll head back home next week to take on the Dallas Cowboys. Meanwhile, for Tampa Bay, they'll fall to one and one. And they'll be back home next week as they're set to take on the Carolina Panthers. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.
shot and I took it, I couldn't do it different Couldn't afford to stop and go, I had to stay consistent Made up my mind that no matter what I 